I was travelling across the vast landmass, that is the Russian Federation, meeting incredibly friendly people wherever I went, and slowly making my way towards southern Siberia and the little known region of Tuva. A few months back, I had watched a TED talk about Tuvan throat singing, which in the native language is called Khume, and had become somewhat fascinated by the two-tone singing style that was unique to this particular region of Central Asia. And so, I had embarked on a journey to the homeland of throat singers in the western part of Tuva to see if I could listen to some performances up close and personal. In Uyar, a small backwater town in the Krasnoyarsk region, which itself was as large as Western Europe, I first came into contact with the musical instruments that were endemic to the South Siberian region. I left Uyar excited about what lay ahead on my journey. The next morning, I pulled into the town of Abakan, the capital of Khakhasia, which is populated by the Kharkas people, who are in fact a Turkic tribe descended from Genghis Khan. At the town's newly built museum, I discovered stone totems that were created over 2,500 years ago, a time when Scythian warriors populated this mountainous region, leaving their mark on it in the form of huge burial mounds. But alas, all too soon I had to leave the fascinating region behind and push on south over the snow-covered Cyan Mountains into the Buddhist Republic of Tuba, the home of Khumei. Kizil, the capital of the Republic, was a small, mostly Soviet-built city that had the strange distinction of being the exact geographical centre of Asia. The following morning, I set out to climb the hill which overlooked the low-slung, scruffy city. So, I'm at the bottom of the mountain, about to climb it for the best view of Kazil, hopefully. We'll see. If this little man can do it with his bottle, Heki, Cezalo, Pamoc Nada. How much? Damien. Damien. Daj po cieliczku. Dawajcie. Poszliście. Well, we made it to the top of the mountain. Let's check out the view of Kizil. The center of Asia, literally. The center of Asia. Whilst in Kizil, I had been constantly warned that Western Tuva, whilst being a hotbed of Khumei, was also a dangerous region where the government had little control over a population used to roaming free and following their own rules. I decided that in order to offer me some protection from the supposed dangers, I would visit a shaman and take part in a protection ceremony. <laughs> Now protected by the deities, I was finally ready to head to Western Tuva in order to fulfill my dream of finding some throat singers. On that bus journey into the western badlands, I heard some Tuvan singing up close and personal for the first time. After an eventful seven-hour journey, I finally made it to my destination, Akdovorak. Well, let's find out just how dangerous this city is. But on my first evening in the town, I realised that those dangers had been completely overblown. 
Ak Dvorak was in fact like any other town in Russia, populated by a friendly people who wished me no harm. That evening, there was a concert taking place in the town's theatre. So I bought a ticket and went to take a look. I'm going to go and check out a um, concert in Ak Dvorak. Let's go and look. The next day, with no prior arrangements made and no definite plan, I began my search for some Hume singers. But of course this was Russia, and a friendly local willing to help was never far away. Pelik had spotted me whilst I was riding on the town's bus, and he introduced himself. I explained that I was in town to hear some throat singing, and immediately he made it his personal mission to make sure that my dream came true. But first he said that because an Englishman was such a rarity in the region, he would like me to visit the local school and talk to the children about my journey. Are you from London? No, I'm from a city near to London. Ah. Um, it's called Brighton, a small town, yes, not right. very famous. Hello. Hello, pleased to meet you. How everybody. are you? How are you? I came here from England to see your school and your town. Interesting, interesting. After giving more speeches to more bewildered children, I was told that there was in fact a Hume singing class taking place at the other end of the school, and if I wanted to, I could go and listen. It was in fact extremely pleasing to see that in this modern world, that is saturated by invasive Western pop culture, that children in this distant corner of Tuva still wanted to learn the ancient styles of their forefathers. That evening, Pelek invited me to his family's yurt for a meal. Tomorrow would be a big day, he said. He had managed to arrange a rather special surprise for me. I'm there, I'm there. No. <laughs> well, time to head home, I reckon. Back to the hotel. It's getting dark out here in the wilds of Tuva. Man, it's a beautiful place. The following morning, after a filling breakfast, I excitedly headed back into town to see just what surprise Pelek had in store for me. So I've been invited to my own private concert in um, Agdavorak at the um, House of Culture. Let's go and check this out. Should be some interesting tunes played. <laughs> the surprise was, in fact, a private performance just for me by Tuba's leading rock Hume group, Sai Khanash. But first of all, the group's lead singer, Alash, wanted to give me a demonstration of his Hume style. Thanks to Pelek and his incredibly generous offers of help, my trip had surpassed all expectations. I left Tuva the next morning, filled with amazing memories and incredibly indebted to the people of the region for their hospitality and openness. It was for me, the journey of a lifetime. 
Thank you.